Well, good morning and welcome to Motivational Monday. We are here for you. And we are talking about today on this Motivational Monday on how to get started. How do we motivate ourselves? And how many times have you said this week, I'm going to get started. I'm going to move into action. And what are you motivated to do? What will you do to get yourself started? That's what we're going to be talking about. And welcome to the show for Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. As you all know, we always can be found on our Facebook Live. Whenever you're looking for us, we are on Facebook at Vibe-Talk. We're hoping that you will take the time and the opportunity to find us. And may you always stay connected to you. We want to thank in advance all of the streaming lines that have taken the opportunity to just find us and favorite us. We realize that there are many people out there that really have enjoyed our podcast. So we're very thankful for that. We're going to be in the near future going back to some of our favorites that we've done this year. Wow, I can hardly believe that we're going to be in our fourth year. So won't you come celebrate with us. You'll hear some funny things. You will hear some things that have we've gone through behind the scenes. You'll hear some memorable experiences. And you'll hear most of all why you listen to Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. It's fall. That season is a season of change. As you stay motivated, what are you motivated about? Because motivation takes a lot of thought. Some people are not just busy, but some people are just trying to get through. How many of you are trying to just get through the motivation or get something out of the day? How many times have you planned throughout the day to set your mind on something that you wanted to do? We've done Motivational Monday and we've done Motivational Monday On Monday, how many times have we had challenged ourselves to just get up and get started? You know, the weekend for me sometimes, because the weekends are so short, I looked around yesterday while I was lunching with some friends. And I said to myself, wow, it's going to be Monday tomorrow as I thought about my week. And boy, does it run fast. After your weekend, how do you feel about returning back to work? Now, that's not to say that some of us don't like where we work. 
because you might really like where you work. I like where I work here and I like photography and I like other things that I do. But sometimes do you just feel like, man, I just can't get motivated. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. How do we do it? And how do we help ourselves? Do you want to help yourself get motivated? I'd like to help you to think about motivation. Um, what do you all think? Do you want to get motivated? Try it one more time, Trish. Wanting to join. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that. Not just to say it's motivational Monday, but really say that we're going to get someone motivated. And as soon as I get my co host in, able to do it. Can you do it one more time, Trish, please? Join in, please. We want to think about what our mission is. Okay. Mondays are the start of the work week. And for many of us, it's new beginnings. The new beginning you have 52 times a year. Think about that. You've got 52 times to get motivated. Mondays are about yourself starting. You are the one that's in control, whatever your mindset is. How about your Monday mornings? For the whole week, is going to set the tone. How about it? Let's think about that as we talk together about Motivational Monday. I thought about the question today. What gets you motivated? And I couldn't come up with anything, but I just do it. What is it that I do? Just think about what I have to do and get it done. Is it that easy for you guys to do that? Because we're all different, and that's what Motivational Monday is all about. You know, we look back on our weekend and we think, wow, we had a really good weekend. And we wake up, it's tough. But what really gets me motivated? Like I, I said, I came up with nothing but just getting up. That's what I did. And that's why I will continue to do it 52 times in a whole year to do that means that you're practicing a lot. How many of you practice a lot to just do it? You know, Nike has a slogan that says, just do it. Do we just do it? Maybe, maybe some of us do. There's no way around our Mondays. We've got 52 times. If you write nothing else down today, I would love for you to write that down. And I would like you to think about how many Mondays we've already had. There's opportunity for all of us. 
really there is. Good morning. Good morning. There is plenty of opportunities for you and I to get together. And boy, can we do it if we want to. How many times have you planned something and you really wanted to do it and it worked out? Well, you think about a lot of times. And then there's been times where you've done, you wanted to do something and it didn't work out. How did you feel about it? How many of you said next time? Next time we can plan better. Next time we'll do this. And you've kept doing it. 50 two times that you get the chance to do something means that you can get motivated. Maybe not the first time, the second time, but maybe on a third time. Because sometimes three strikes are not always an out or a bad thing. In baseball, it's three times and you're out. In the court system, it's strike three and something really is going to happen that's not going to be good. But in your life, if you keep practicing, you have for your, your motivation on Monday 52 chances. That's how many Mondays there are in a year. When you think about it. How about a fresh start? How many of you have ever needed a fresh start? Anybody? Anybody ever needed a fresh start? I and have. what's that been like? I can hear you so much better now. Um, It's been uh, for me getting my fresh start it feels great because um i'm getting to uh, getting a chance to start over it's like a clean slate it's like okay i don't have to begin like how i began the last time i can start over do something different and see how that turns out uh that could be with anything a fresh start on an assignment or something and you're like yeah I started off the equation like math. I started off the equation multiplying, but I got the wrong answer. But this time, I'm going to start it off with adding this time. And you actually get the correct answer. So that's how it is with having a new start. Sometimes we just have to, for a fresh start, just try. Try at it. Give it a go. Just do it. Now, if you're like me, I said that I figure out that, that I need to just do it. And when I get, get it done, I feel that much better. So my mission is just do it. Sometimes we just don't feel like just doing it for 52 days in monday that we have in a year we are going to go through different emotions why is that because we're going to experience mondays with different emotions different feelings no Monday will be the same for many of us. And here's what I want you to realize, if you will. Remember how I said no Monday is the same? We shouldn't want it to be the same. If you wake up and you do the same thing every day, for 52 days, how do you think you're going to feel? 
Are you going to look forward to it? Think about the answer. You know, for 52 days, if I were a runner and I ran for 52 days and I set my goal that for the next 52 days on this day, this time, I'm going to feel burnt out. I'm going to not look forward to what I'm doing. I'm also going to feel as if I'm overwhelmed. It's going to be all kind of feelings, if you understand where I'm going with this. But now, if I said to myself, I want to challenge myself for the next 52 days and have the same goal of trying to achieve good health, perhaps I'm running because I want to have good health, perhaps I'm running because I want to stay toned, whatever my reason is. How about switching it up a little bit? Those of you who are going to work with the same idea that I've got to go to work because I have to pay my bills, how about getting started a little bit early and maybe doing something you really like to do? I'll tell you what I've done to really help myself. I have gotten up a little early and maybe watched a movie that I really liked. How does that help me? If it's a movie I really like, I get my day started by doing that. Switching it up. Maybe you're going to go on a coffee run. So many people love coffee. You're going to go on a coffee run early. And you're not going to be late, but you're going to do something different. Maybe you're going to to get to work not when you have to clock in but a little bit before that so that you have time to just do what breathe because see we say just do it and now, now we have to find out a way that we're going to just do it we are so motivated that's why nike uses that slogan because how many people have bought into just do it they said no more, but we all went out, and we, good morning, please tell us where you're listening in from, what state, and thank you for joining our program today, Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. Nike has sold billions of shoes just from that slogan alone. What did we all do? We didn't wonder what just do it was. We just bought the slogan. And now you see just do it. I saw the other day a man with a just do it shirt on. I didn't ask him what is it that I'm supposed to do. I knew immediately that that was Nike sign. So I ask you what is it that you must get done and just do because we wake up and we don't ask questions we just go into another manic monday you've heard that before and so as you listen to the song of those lyrics you say wow when they say just another manic monday and then they start to tell you what time it is because they've done it for 52 times in a year. How about this? Just do something different. We can choose that. We can go to work and still be productive. We can become the most productive person, the most successful person by just having the minds set of I'm going to just get it done. And you must fill in the blanks. Is it going to be easy? Who's to say? Depends on your mindset. Are you going to gain something from it? Those are your blanks to fill out. 
52 opportunities to just get motivated on Monday. You know, we think about this. What are you waiting for? I tell you, get up. Get started. Get going. Put a little pep in your step. Get going. I would love to see you get going. Mondays don't have to be something bad. Mondays don't even have to be ordinary. I'll tell you another thing. When my kids were much younger, I knew that even with them going back to school wasn't what they looked forward to. So maybe switching it up a little bit by if they get dressed early and we can leave the house 15 or 20 minutes early, we're going to go get a donut. We're going to do something different because now you've gotten dressed early, you've done, you've just done it. Your backpack is ready, you've eaten breakfast, and now I'm going to do something to put some aim in your game of school. 52 times are new beginnings. How many of you have ever thought of it like that, or is that your first time hearing there are 52 chances for you to get motivated on Monday and every other day, but since we're going to talk about the beginning of the week, it's getting motivated. How many of you have had that opportunity to do so and think about it? You are in control. Your Mondays don't have to be just another Monday. They can be an awesome Monday, an ordinary Monday, an adventurous Monday. Especially with our little ones, they get tired. We can go on nature walks before they go to school, that they have something productive to talk about when they come to class. Even yourself, you know, the thing that people have to realize is that sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, we are just, just, just human. We expect a lot from ourselves, but here's what I want you to think about is expectation that you're just human. And many of us feel like you, just human. Doesn't mean that we're failures, doesn't mean that we're not trying, doesn't mean we're not good at, but it does mean that we might have to challenge ourselves more than the other person. To be none compared to be none compared to each other, how about doing your Monday. Here's a fun assignment that you could think about. Even if you're going to do something a little later or on another Monday, find something about your Monday that you really enjoyed. You know, some of us are news watchers. You know, before going to work, I would always turn on the news. That was how I did things. And it was just another Monday because you heard bad news. How about one morning that I turned the TV off and watched that movie that I wanted to watch? Even 15 minutes to let my brain rest from stress. Think about that. Or are we just ordinary Monday people? waking up to do the same exact thing that we did as last Monday. Now think about how many times you've done the exact same thing, the exact same way, and you wake up and you do by route without even thinking you could do it blind. You can add whatever kind of Monday you would like to have. 
I would like for you to challenge yourself to create a mission on Mondays to do something different. Your choice. Are you motivated? Or are you going to think this was a really good episode from Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast? And those ideas and the voices that I hear, they were awesome. But I'm choosing to do nothing about Mondays. I'd like to encourage you and motivate you to start a new mission by doing something quite different. Hold on just a moment. So now that we have thought about it and you've had some time to think about it, what's your choice? And how will you view your up and coming Mondays? Trish, do you have anything you'd like to say? Sure. Um, I'd like to say that it's crazy we're talking about Monday because this morning I didn't wake up in the best mood. I didn't wake up motivated this morning. And I was wondering what's the problem? Why can't why am I not in such a great mood? And I found out it's because I'm tired. I'm very sleepy. And um I didn't I thought I got a night a good night's rest, but I didn't apparently. <laughs> so to start my mon- Monday off different after this, I'm going to take a nap. That's something I can do. And then when I wake up from my nap, then I will start my Monday over and, and uh, be pro- hopefully be more motivated and more energetic this time when I wake up, when I get enough sleep. Sometimes that's something as little as a nap can like help our day or just getting our coffee in the morning or just waking up earlier than you usually do. Like I always do when I walk to school, I always wake up early so I can get there because it's a 15 minute walk and it's very tiring so When I get there, I wake up early so I can get there early so I can take my 10-minute rest because that walk is hard. 15-minute walk is pretty hard. So I sit down, I take a breather, and in 10 minutes, I got to go to class. That's something that I need on Mondays when when I walk to school to get there early so I can hydrate, like drink some water eat a snack, something, so I can motivate myself and get the energy going for Monday. So that's how I get my Mondays going sometimes when I'm not so up to it. Yeah. You know, Trish spoke of having a moment where you ask yourself what's wrong. That's the key key that's the key of staying connected to yourself is to figure out what is wrong why are we feeling that way because most of us do feel that way as i said before you came on about being human so what we have to do is think about it like you did and come up with our answers what can we do differently what can we we do to help ourselves look forward to Monday. You know, Monday is not always 
going to be exciting to look forward to. Every day, we feel differently. Here's another assignment. And these are just things that may or may not help you. Maybe you can contrast your next Mondays that are coming forward, starting today with how you feel today versus how you're going to feel next Monday. And as you see the contrast, the differences, change it up. You know, this Monday I might feel really great, get out of bed, and the next Monday I'm not going to be so motivated. Remember how Trish said that? Not feeling motivated. If we're not feeling motivated more than we are feeling motivated, maybe it's time for us to change so that we are on a mission to get motivated. Think about your life and here we are Monday morning again. What have you done different and what have you done new? And comparing that to yourself. You know, we get in here and we have a lot of people sometimes and then there are some times where we have few people but as a whole, we have people that have listened all over the world at some time or another and will hear this podcast episode and say, wow, I really needed that. I like this quote, may your coffee be strong and your Monday be short. <laughs> I love that. How about us thinking about our challenges we're facing knowing that whatever we're facing for the day is not permanent I've had something weighing on my mind that I know after today I won't have to worry about it you know how you feel when you've got a backpack too heavy and someone releases the books out of them, they say, here, let me get those books out of the backpack and how you feel. Well, that's how I'll feel today. It isn't every Monday that I feel like that. Okay. So think about what changes you want to make. Um, are you living your best mission of life? Whatever it is that you want to do today, how did you get motivated? Some people today are going to finish their last books where I sit here and I haven't even started on what I want to work on. But I guarantee you that I'll make the effort. Some people are going to get inspired today by a painting. Some people are going to create today by a drawing. And it's going to continue on and on and on today. What are you going to do as your mission for Monday? Some people are going to ring the bell today because they're finished with their last cancer treatment. Some people are going to get nominated for whatever they've done that deserves honor. Think about all that goes on 52 times in a month on Monday. I hope that Monday is a new start for you and I. We're going to be right back with Trisha's treasures. We'll be right back, guys. Stay tuned. Be right back. We are back with Trisha's treasures. Trish. I recall in 
my first semester of college. So I would walk to school Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So during those three times coming to school and there and uh during those three times it was different classes that i went to one class was english uh english 155 and the other class was public speaking so i would come to school those three times a week and my instructor one of my instructors, they were like, uh, I don't want you guys to come to school twice, uh, walk here twice because, you know, Treasure walks and I know it's hard for her to walk here. So I'm going to just change your schedule to one day on the schedule to come to the class. And I was like, whoa, that's great. I get some, I get to change. I get a day, a free day by myself. But I liked the workout walk because it was a workout for me. That's what I called it, a morning workout walk. It was great. And then I walked back home. And it's a great workout. And then so they took Monday off. And so I was like, you know what? I will, I, I'm used to waking up early on Monday so I can walk to school. But that day is canceled. So what, what can I take this Monday to do? I have nothing to do on Monday. And so I was thinking, you know what? That's not true. I have an online class for Monday. I have that. So I can work on that more instead of rushing for that class. So when I come home from uh, my class on campus, I can do more work for my online class. And then by the time Wednesday comes and I go to uh, the public speaking class, which is the class that is one day, I will feel free because I got all my work done for the other class on Monday. And I only have two classes to do that entire week. And it felt good to have like to have that day off because I'm the kind of person that wakes up and says, you know what, I need this day. I need it. But it's okay to take a break sometimes. It's okay to take that Monday off. And I did that. And I got a lot done. I had I spent a lot of time with myself. I went outside. I hung out with uh, my cats. As you guys can see on my Tris's Treasures, you guys will see me just um, enjoying life. And that's because my schedule changed from not having Mondays off to having Mondays to having Mondays off. So when your Mondays change or when there's something uh, that changes, you, 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 you have the opportunity to use it to your best ability to do whatever you want to do because there are 24 hours in the day and you don't realize how much you can do in 24 hours in a day until you actually uh, sit back and think about I only did I only went to work for um, this amount of hours but I also still have this time left that's why when people come home from work they take their shower they eat they they eat their dinner they sometimes they don't go straight to sleep they read a little before they go to sleep and it's up to you to take that time as well, to spend time with yourself, take time uh, to do the things that you love to do. Because it is your Monday, it is your day, and it is your life. And don't forget that it is also your choice. Thank you so much, Lion Power. Trisha's Treasures is affiliated with Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast and we know you will gain a lot of treasured thoughts. Thank you so much. You can have two choices in life. Either you sleep and dream or wake up and chase those dreams. 
This is Monday Motivation. It's short today. Uh, I want to make sure that we have it because we have not had Monday Motivation. I want to thank my co-host, Trish, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you, listeners, for wherever you are. Thank you. And have a great, prosperous Monday. Thank you. This has been Vibe Talk Facing the Lion Podcast on Motivational Monday.